I've decided to torture myself by continuing because why do I even mention it when I do this? Like, there's no real reason for me to mention that I'm continuing the last episode because, for one, it's not like I'm making the first episode any longer in in the in the uh, in the way that I do. And for two, I said I was going to stop doing this to myself because now later today when I'm when I'm uh, recording Celeste, I'm going to feel the need to make two episodes. Then again, I'm at a point in Celeste right now where I don't know if it's going to like it's going to kill me mentally to make two episodes in a row. I don't know. I honestly don't. All I know is that I am very proud of myself. I've done a very good job. Let's giggity get it. Ooh, is that health that I see? Yes, it is. Please, dear God. Let me get into the health corridor. Very nice. That was like an entire 11 health. I guess it was 12 since health, the hearts work for two of whatever unit. Alright, here's I think where the fun begins. I can only assume that there is a point in time in which I am forced to make a specific choice as to where I go regarding the um, the, uh, the uh, position of uh, the water, the movement of the water. Maybe. I can only assume there's no way of knowing that uh, there's some specific place I might want to get to, but I, 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 I can only assume. Please, dear God, get me the frick out of this vortex. <laughs> Literally, this is so gay. There's actually nothing I can do about it either. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's all I had to do. Hey, the waterway cabin. Let's take a nice save point. Game save. Uh, the notebook is covered in dust, but what about this one? Nothing of interest? Wacky. Let's, let's take a nice rest. Why not? I need my health back. And also, I am tired of carrying Curly around. Text is displayed on screen. That reminds me, I also recorded some findings in that notebook. Interesting. Findings about what? Open the notebook? Yeah, sure, why not? Robots manufactured on the surface have been limited In case of flooding, systems of automatic shut to fire source circuitry. We always structure how to service flooded robots. I learned how to start service flooded robots. Wow, how nice. Let's give Curly a happy end. Anyways. <laughs> uh, well, let's, let's uh, service the robot. Why not? We're draining. We're draining the robot as part of the service. Mmm. You're safe. Oh, I'm glad. I thought you were a goner. You lost consciousness and I couldn't think of anything to do about it, so I gave you my air tank. It worked, didn't it? Uh. She fell asleep. Bruh. It takes some time to complete. How about that? Text is displayed on screen. You can do it. Would you like to leave her here? Uh, nah. I'll take her with me. Why not? Uh, because, uh, we always take Curly. That is always the play. You take Curly. Um, that's really it. I think I'm just gonna rely heavily on the blade, which is, like, a terrible idea. But, I mean, I don't care so much that it means the world to me that I don't use the blade. There's not much I can do about it at this point in time. Since my good gun that um, does definitely not eventually evolve into something better. Um, you know, it, uh, it uh, did a thing. Something's coming. Yeah, I know, I just serviced, I just, I literally just serviced the robot. Oh no, I, I knew it. I mean, what? I'm, you know, it was really kind of a stupid idea to rely on the blade here. It's got good DPS, I guess, but it also, you know, look at me, look at me. I am the captain now. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> I cannot move for crap, evidently. Every time there is something that I want to grab, it's immediately... Okay, wonderful. I'm at one health. This sucks. Just a little bit. Oh, fucking course. 
And of course I get level down again because I'm a fucking moron and I didn't change out my guns. But you know, whatever, 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 whatever. Jesus, let me change my fucking weapon! Oh my gosh. I'm having a real hard time, guys. Um... Also, just blocks in this game in general piss me off. Like, a lot. But whatever, I don't care. This is not a problem anymore. It's not gonna be a problem for me for long. There we go. Oh my lord. Oh boy. I'm gonna see if I can do that in a way that doesn't suck complete balls. Whatever. We're gonna... We're gonna... Uh... We're going to do the interesting thing now, which is to say, um, well, you'll see. We're going to, we're going to get the good gun. I'm kind of tired of even beating around bushes here. I like how it's, it's, it really has switched from like last week, I'd feel drained after Celeste. And this week I feel drained after Cave Story. Um, yeah, we're really getting there, but you know. Whatever. I'm just terrible at bosses, I guess. Oh yeah, I can't actually get the good gun yet. Um, that's fine. We will actually... You know what we'll do? We'll go to Arthur's house. Why not? Oh, hey! My main man, Professor Booster, what's up? I'll be darned. Oh, it's just you. The doctor has amassed the red flowers. All the Mimiga of the island have now fallen under his grip. Tragedy is inevitable. Had I known these events to transpire, then I should have at least had Sue escape from the island. Ah, oh, thanks, pal. This is going to be useful. Please honor my final request. If you see Sue one last time, please take her and escape from the island. She's Dr. Sakamoto's daughter. For the longest time, she resisted coming to the island, but she couldn't be left behind all alone. She had no choice but to follow us to the island. Please take her and escape. You got it, pal. For now, I'm, uh, I'm equipping this, which is another way in which this game could be really benefited by some things being automatic. At the same time, it at least makes sense that the booster is, like, equipable, because, I mean, if you don't like the booster, you can take it off, but it's still kind of stupid sometimes. Whatever, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna kill things today. Like a lot of things. Like a lot a lot of things. And I have what is with momentum in this game? Actually, I think this might just be a problem that I have with myself. Because momentum is not consistent among platforms. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's to be expected at this point. Hey, the man's alive! Did you happen to see the gun I made? Someone pilfered it while I slept. Should have just slept with the thing in my chest pocket had I known that was going to be the case. Wait a second, that's my gun! Why do you have it? I didn't make it for you. Give it back. Polar Star was confiscated. Now we don't have the gun! Nice! You apparently put a significant amount of wear on it. I... I was raised to believe that weapons should always be constructed by oneself. I always thought that those who fight with a firearm created by another are all fools, growing overconfident with powers that were never their own to begin with, then blaming their own shortcomings on the equipment they use. Uh, yeah, yeah, how dare someone say that the gun is bad. Anyways, uh, but now, seeing my gun used by you through your hands, I am so incredibly touched to use an incomplete gun such as the Polar Star to this degree. Mm, pardon my rantings. How about this? I'll give you, after it's completed, of source... Ah, oh, nice. We get the complete gun. Hog. It's a spur. That's pretty great. And, um, it is very good. I have a laser. Let's go. All right. God, I keep forgetting that that's a thing. I think the range is just incredible in general. The only thing is that I have to use the claw to use this thing effectively. Um, but that's fine. Just because I'm inevitably going to, like, mix up fingers here. 
uh, doesn't mean that it's a bad gun. And I, of course, end up just getting fricked over by the, the first cave enemies. The easiest enemies in the game. That's not a problem, though. I'm gonna frick them all off. Somehow the slimes in this game just kind of have, like, the weirdest attack patterns. And, uh, I don't mean that. But, you know, whatever. Uh, kind of unintuitive. But that's, uh, not really a problem. Look at that! I feel like that went through walls! Well, yes, it did go through walls. Anyways. Can this actually go through walls? Straight up. No, it can't. Well, that's unfortunate, but, you know, what do you think it is? The, the freaking The snake? Nah. Uh, very nice. Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.